Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about second part of restore mechanism, which is created by revise as a part of add-on in Jira. So, in first part, we have discussed how to install and how we can use restore functionality in detail. But in this part, we are going to cover about additional features recently added by revise. So don't miss small bit of information. Otherwise, you will lose important or critical data which is present in our project inside Jira. And if you have not yet watched the first part of Restore, please watch it from my descriptions. I will include the URL in description tab. Now, if you can see here, this is a Restore content created by me last seven days. But if I want to see everything. So definitely I will refresh the page and I will have everything available here. Now in restore mechanisms, let's understand first the advanced setting or global setting in restore. So simply click on the setting icon and we'll have this. So additional feature added by Revis team as part of new build is like restoring parrot information. So let's say we are working on any epic or user story which is having a small small content added just like in user story we can add subtask or task. So if we want to cover that part as well as a part of parent and child we can enable it from here. So that's very easy to use it. So here we have do not restore parent issues and we can also create parent and link with them. Then we have third option like link parent if exist. So if we have already existing parent informations available in restore, we can link with that issues. Creating a parent and link with linking with them is generally we can create a new parent and link with the informations. And if we are selecting do not restore parent issues, so generally it will not restore the parent issues. So I'm selecting create parent and link here we have a new features in restore children so revise the restore children issues of selected issues so here we can also select restore children with selected issues click on save and yes now this will be stored we can also restore issues in the attachment so if you have any attachment that is also possible to restore this this is a global setting created by revised team which we can use it for adding more number of informations so let me show you some example here now in this purchase order informations i've added several subtasks so this is not available here maybe we can use this one again it's not the payment page again is not here so these all are user story let me click some yeah product listing informations so here we have product listing information so ep1 so let me select ep1 now in ep1 we have child issues present if you want we can add more number of child issues add child issues like a uh, task subtask user story let me add task as this is this is a child issue click on create this is child issue 2 and we have several other child issues are also available now let's add or restore this information for restoring this click on advanced tab and here we can select create issues or new issues these additional information also added in as a part of new build these two like reward existing issues as a part of new build this is additional functionalities available in restore that is create issues and reward existing issues with experimental so here i'm proceeding ahead with the create issues now we can also create a snapshot date so if you want we can select any any snapshot date so here i'm selecting project issue types i will select epic as of now then i will select all and click on restore preview now if you can see here as of now i got these many issues available so this is as a part of epic list i can see ap1 ap2 3 4 and 5 once i will select this one and click on restore click on this and now 
I got this information. So probably this will take some time uh, for generating uh, this list. And once this will be available, the original issues with complete detail will be restored here. So let me check the logs. As of now, no logs are available. So right now it's in queue. Once this will be successful, we will get the complete information. But it's still running. So we will have that ready within a second. Now in the job sections, you can see my all the child issues are got restored and you can see here status code. So if, if you want to have a look about status code, we can see all the status codes are available. So here we can see all the status codes still it's in our uh, development piece. So probably we'll get uh, more information in upcoming release of uh, revised team. So probably uh, this restore functionality, which is added is going to help uh, the team to have the complete look about this detail. So here we can see our uh, user selected family. So if you can see here, this is our user selected family, then parent or child selected issues. Then these all are original issues and restored issues. So there is a correct mapping between original issues and restored issues are available. Then we have original IDs and new issue IDs. And after that status code, if we will refresh the page, probably if new fields will be added, then also it will get stored. Let's say I want to add a few more childs. So child four, child five. Now, if I want to restore it again, then definitely I will go ahead with this. And maybe uh, this time I'll reuse this functionality snapshot D then uh, project issue types i want to select again epic then uh, all issue status all and then restore preview so this will again sell, uh, take some time to restore it and we can select this issues because i want to just store so this is how useful it is if i want to restore few part of the informations then probably we can select that part otherwise it will take lots of time for restoring these informations so generally when we have hundreds of issues and we want to restore just one or two then we can select it those issues which is newly created but if if we want to store everything then we can select each and everything so this is how it is helping the end users to add up as many informations they want to restore it so that we can also save some time as well as storage capacity. So that will be very much helpful. So let's wait for uh, completions. Now it's in queued. Now it's got success. So let's see the jobs and in the job information, this, this one we have selected for reward issues. So uh, when we will select AP1, uh, we will have, I don't want to see everything. Now in AP1, we have restored issues key with a different ID and we can see here the status code. So a status code, uh, we will get each and every status code accordingly. So as of now, it's in development phase. So probably we'll get more or clear idea in further release. If you want to check about the log, so which all information got stored, we can see it here. So probably uh, we can see the CSV information got updated, JSON file data uploaded uh, to JSON. And then restoring issue links, uh, issue links restored, finished. Then uh, we can see all the information which is available here. And uh, that's uh, uh, again, which is in the detail format. Like we can see the original issue ID, new issue ID and with the status code. So this is how we can restore our informations, whichever we want. And if you want to restore the complete view, we can select the create issue with the new restore. So if you can see the stats uh, as of now, successfully events are three, partially successful is two. So we can even uh, add the filters accordingly. So when we have restored the details, which is a part of job history, then storage stats, licensing, these all informations are clearly available into dashboards. Now, again, if you want to see the job sections, all the jobs which is we have restored with the proper detail is listed here. So that's all from additional feature of restore, which is a restore part two video. Hope you like the content. If you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within your circle. And 
if you think this is going to help you a lot please comment down your use case so that we get to know how you have utilized this product in your project management cycle that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching